So in this video, we're going to quickly revise Gaussian elimination. This video assumes you already have gone through it before. So let's just... So assuming a, uh, this, this is A and B, and of course we want to solve the system AX equals B, um, Gaussian elimination is basically a process where we will take this matrix and we will use this, it's called the pivot element, and then we will get rid of these two and make them into zeros. So what that will do is that will give us, by performing row operations, okay, so what will happen is we will end up with something like this. We'll have zeros here, and of course this, um, I'm going to put dashes here to indicate that these are different numbers now. Of course they will change, and of course we would have written the system in an augmented matrix form. So this B2 will also change, that's B2, and here you'll have, of course, the A32, I put a dash again on it, and I A33, this is not derivative, this is just indicating that it's a different number than uh, the above one. So then what you'll do is you'll use this uh, here as a pivot element, okay, and then reduce it further, and then further reduction will lead to A11, okay, A12, A13, dot, 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 B1, and then you'll have zeros here, of course, and you'll, this this will remain dash, this will, this is not changing anymore, and this is not changing anymore, but this is. So here you'll have a zero, and here you'll have A33, we'll put double dash to indicate it's something further different, and B3 double dash. So anyway, that, uh, that basically is now in uh, upper triangular form. You'll see here, the non-zero entries are here, so this is an upper triangular form, and now we can actually use what's called backward substitution. Now what does backward substitution mean? Let me quickly uh, get uh, give you an idea of what that is about. So what backward substitution means is you see now you'll write this in equation form again. So here we're assuming of course that x is x1, x2, x3, okay? Which means of course as you know the way we have this is let me label these. This is this is the way it is. These are the coefficients. This is how this is how the, the matrix is set up. So this means if I go back if I go over here go over here, and I can write this down as A33 double prime, double dash, okay, of X3 equals B3 double dash, okay? This implies that X3 now can be easily calculated is B3 over A33. So now that I have X3, let me put a box around that, now that I've found it, I can go and look at, for instance, uh, the next equation. So I can look at this equation here, uh, this equation here, so this this tells me that a22 dash x2, okay, equals b2 dash minus a23 dash times the value of x3, which is as calculated earlier, b3 over a33 double dash, okay, and once you've got that, of course, from this you can clearly see that x2 is just take that out from here and put a one over a22 prime. So you've got x2. Now you'll take that and you go back to this top equation, substitute it in that and you calculate what x1 is. All right, so it's quite easy to do. So this tells us x1 is one over a11 times uh, a12 x2 um, negative, of course, uh, minus a13 x3 plus uh, b1. Uh, here. So, and brackets. Now, of course, here, x2 and x3, we've got here and over here. We substitute them in and we've solved the actual, uh, we've got the solution. So, this, in a nutshell, very fast, is Gaussian elimination. So, I apologize, it's quick, but this is just a revision, just to give you a quick rundown of how Gaussian elimination works. If you don't get it, please go to my linear algebra videos, okay, either that, where you'll slowly get an idea of what Gaussian elimination is, um, or you can go to the numerical analysis playlist and see there are three videos or two videos for uh, Gaussian elimination that you might look at. We'll stop here for now. Thank you.